Ah, oh, welcome. We're back. We're back. I I just realized today how far we are into the game. But welcome. I hope everyone had a good St. Patrick's Day, a good Thursday. <clears throat> Pardon me. I just like scarfed down dinner right before we started. Oh my God! Hey, Matt. How are you? How you been? How's life? <clears throat> God. I made wraps and I'm all flimmy. What? What? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to play. Oh, you've been great? That's awesome. Uh, work. No. Okay, this is the thing I keep kept on doing the last time. Okay, warp. I'm gonna have to excuse it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Warp. There we go. Oh boy. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you've been good. Did everyone else have a good Thursday? <gasps> My Thursday has been all over the place. Mostly just solving work shit, but... Uh. Hey! Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Renard Renato. Renardo. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Or is concluded. Con onward to mail. There he goes. <clears throat> oh my god, did Taco post that? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's, that's Bob. <laughs> it's, it's got his vibe. Oh yeah, we never, um, went to Kakariko enough to let uh, the kid take over this place. Hello! Hello, Fausto! I guess we're going to Kakariko anyways, so... And I got money to spend. <clears throat> Pardon me. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, this is the current objective. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I think, okay. I, I know generally what we're supposed to do. Um, I think we're supposed to come here so so we notice that uh, the nerd guy here is gone. Much like how we do with the rest of our stuff. Yeah, he's gone. So it'll be like, oh, we know where you should go. You should go to Kakariko. Yeah, see? Shad, that's his name. So yeah, we'll go see Shad, which is perfect because uh, that's exactly where I want to go. Hello, Thelma. How's that Elia doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. I mean, he's not gone. He, he's just, you know, doing his thing. <laughs> yeah. You unsure about what to do? You ought to be doing, honey. Well, why don't you go to? Uh, why don't you go show your face in Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now. Look into this and that. If you need, de huh, if you need detailed directions, just take a peek at the map over the table. Already done and done. Hello. Oh meow. Oh meow. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, was that the reaction to the oh? This is a bad video. <laughs> Um, okay, no one cares. What part am I on? We're pretty much getting- we're, so we're on our way to the, 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 the last dungeon. So we just need to power up the Dominion Rod and fix the cannon and then shoot to the moon! Wait, where the fuck is Kakariko again? Wait, no, that's a gorge. That's not the. Haha. -ha. The 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 uh. <laughs> oh, I see. I I can't stutter. Uh. Bitty <laughs> bitty bitty. What? I think I. I I think I posted it in the Discord, but anytime I can't unthink Porky Pig. <laughs> because of fucking Griffin, right? Like, I did post it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god, hey Arnok! How are you? Yeah, let's go to fucking. this child store. I have not seen the Batman, but I've seen the memes. <laughs> Please let me. Oh, I could give him all my money. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> he rules. Those corrupt price gouging shops in Castle Town are officially on notice. Soon they will rue. We hope you'll uh, you will continue your financial support of our efforts and self products in, uh, in the town at discounted prices, brother. Sick. Wow. Goodbye, money. <laughs> uh, recovering, finally getting a day off. Oh, fucking finally. Jeez. Your work is working you too much. I know that they're busy, but jays. No fair. <laughs> jays. Jays us. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so much monies. <laughs> well, that's what a thousand rupees apparently sounds like. <laughs> Just going on for like a minute. Oh, she looks so sad. Uh, um, Link? Did you hear what the shaman said? Absolutely not. Ah, oh. uh, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well... We should be able to help Elia recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he is uh, researching the, the heavens, okay, uh, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. <laughs> e -oo, what's it? Uh, yeah, e -oo, oo, ah, ah, ding, dang, rah, rah, bing, bang, ooh, e -oo, ah, ah, ding, dang, rah, rah, bing. <laughs> I haven't heard that song in forever. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. It is old. That, it literally reminds me of high school. I will never leave. Uh, that's that's fair. It's so funny because like when I think about Ramalama Bang Bang, like there's a song called Ramalama Bang Bang. Um, who sings it? <laughs> some some lady. You got Renato's letter. It carefully details how to treat Elia to get her. It shames me to say, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Link. Okay. Telma is too much for Renato. <clears throat> we put the lime in the coconut. Hello, Shad. I remember my sister had the biggest crush on this guy. It was like, oh, if it wasn't Link, it was this guy. 
I do like his like nerd aesthetic. His <laughs> socks are fucking great. <laughs> what a coincidence meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Oh, hello there. I came here today to look into Hyrulean Hyrulean legend of the sky beings called the Oka, but to think that uh, you would appear here with such a perf as with such perfect timing. Oh my god! Sorry, I just realized you know what we're going to see? Old Kakariko. Spoilers. Um Wait, you haven't heard the put the lime in the coconut? I'll I'll post it in the Discord later. Um now that's that's an old one. Mm, I've been observing the statue. Many similar statues in Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Uh, here, look at the belly. There's something written here. You see? This too uh, was in my father's notes. It's called Skywriting, I believe. Oh, um, it literally. Oh, ra so Ramalama Bang Bang is like, I. <clears throat> the <laughs> how do I describe it like the the verses are kind of not atonal but it's 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 bizarre I, um again I'll post that in the in the um the chat but uh it, <laughs> the chorus just goes like rama lama bang bang crash bang big bang bing bong ding dong hum 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 with a hammer bang bang crash bang big bang and it's like it that's that's the chorus it's so weird it's uh actually i have i had an old oc <laughs> that's based on that song and she's a freak um uh, awaken us with the word that breaks the seal yes indeed that is what it says wait a minute isn't that elia a friend of yours it's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of heavens she's mentioned, I'm sure has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm, isn't there any way to restore her memory? <laughs> I always wonder, like, if, like, when the words are written out, like, in red like that, it's, like, heavy emphasis. Like, isn't there a way to restore her memory? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, dude. <laughs> Wham bam shang a lang by silver. I've never heard that one. <laughs> there's there's some interesting music out there, that's for sure. I always thought it was like that too. <laughs> okay, let's let's go help Elia. What was I supposed to do with that letter? I kinda zoomed past that. Oh thank you for the hydrate. Mm -hmm probably need it I, I so earlier this week I fell on the ice so my body she hurts um I'm feeling a bit better today but like I was like there's no way there's no way I'm I'm, I'm good enough to work out fuck uh but then it's like oh hey uh can you do outgoing mail today oh no B -b 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 bye <laughs> bye <laughs> um and so oh no why <laughs> You started this. You started this. <laughs> you tried to layer it? Oh my god. What was it? I mean, I'm sure uh, we could probably accidentally do it again. Because um, I, I... As per usual, uh, I have forgotten to... Um, like fulfill I have forgot to say I fulfilled the redeems so if we found out by accident <laughs> that if you do that I'll I wonder if one sec it's been a minute you <laughs> do you guys want to see something wild that might break um uh, tits oh uh oh oh uh, here we go <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh god, no! 
love. <laughs> it would be kind of funny if you see like waves of the hearts just from like everyone doing the love one. Oh my god, so silly. I can't forget. <laughs> Y'all just really love throwing shit at my face, eh? <laughs> that was a bit dramatic. I I don't know where I'm going. So, hmm. Um. Okay, so that's not it. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> What does this do again? No effect. I think I'm supposed to bring that... I want to say to the doctor, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if this, this is the way to Hyrule Castle. Okay, I can go this way. <clears throat> Sorry, I have the window open. It's crazy hot today. I think our landlord still has the heat on in our building. So it's warm in here. Oh, but po positive update. Our washer and dryer, after three months of being broken, is now fixed. I am ecstatic, to say the least. Wait. Fuck me. Ah! <laughs> so, I did a load earlier because I didn't want clean clothes. I could have just teleported. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, yeah, seriously. I think it's just because I have been kind of been that tenant where I'm just just constantly emailing our landlord going like, hey, when are you gonna fix this? But I mean like seriously? Wait, that's a big ass tree. What? Choose. Hmm. If I were a tenant, I'd be such a rat. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess technically it could be worse, but our building is barely maintained, like, to say the least. But <laughs> it's probably the cheapest place to live in our city. <laughs> just just gonna say. Showing memes to my landlord? Oh my god, that would be so funny. You get blocked or something. Like, usually, like, uh, I had a decent rapport with uh, my last landlord who was owning this building, but um, unfortunately it was bought, and the current ones are really hard to contact, and there's just a lot of issues. It's just a pain. You know? Um But yeah, my I can't I cannot beat uh rent being the price that it is and then having utilities included. That's it's pretty good. Hello, it's one AM. Oh it's so late. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Uh if you lose it, it's dumb. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Game night with my landlord will dodge free rent for the month. That'd be funny. I do not think they would take that bait. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, is this still open? You bitch. Wait. Shine. Oh, wait. I don't have money. Never mind. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't have money. Oopsie dipsy. Wait, did I get any new books? Nah, I don't think I did. Let's just go see the doctor, because I think that's who I'm supposed to talk to right now. Oh, he's still open. <laughs> if I lose, there's no witnesses. <laughs> Damn, why are you fried chicken in there? <laughs> I think that was my favorite uh, reaction to someone pissing really loud. It's like, Damn, girl, you fried chicken in there. Stupid! I love it. Uh, <laughs> just as I want. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm like laughing at my own joke. It's like my joke, but like, oh my god, it's so funny. Yes! Oh my god, <laughs> that's from um the the Sonic fan dub. Some of his damn you fried chicken. Oh, it was like, yeah, it was like someone's boss was pissing really loud, and it's like, you know, like there's so many levels of like, don't say this. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god. Just as I wonder, oh, sorry, just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You got some money, don't you? Mm. By the way, that girl, Ilya, didn't mention anything about me, did she? You fucking weird pervert asshole. <clears throat> um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> hey, girl. This greeting extends into the chat, yeah. Um, hey, Nick, how are you doing tonight? Did you have a good uh, St. Patty's? Have a good Thursday? Uh, it's funny as fuck, and the person who says it is a uh, mother, aka Sonic person. <laughs> Whatever. <it is. laughs> yeah. Uh, never going into public bathroom again after that. <laughs> you know what's funny? The 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 older I get, the more I'm just willing to not give a fuck in a, in a public washroom. I used to be, I as a child, I would damn near piss my pants to avoid going into a public washroom. I never like going to a washroom with other people. So gross. And then like around when high school rolled around, I kind of just had to use the washroom, but I tried to avoid it. But like now I'm just like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'll go all the time. I have, I, I, I have to pee a lot as an adult. <laughs> um, I think my medication went over to my autoimmune disease like fucked me. So I pee a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like every hour I'm just like okay bye <laughs> see you later I'll be back um I, I will shit in a public restroom I don't care yeah basically you you just gotta ne not give a fuck man like it's 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 fine who the hell am I supposed to show this to uh <laughs> if I need to pee fuck the damn restroom I'll piss in your cubicle <laughs> And speaking of washrooms, you ever find uh, it fucked? Teachers were so strict. I agree. What, what podcast was I was listening to where they're just like, oh, I think it was like the Daily Zeitgeist, but they're talking about like how uh, um, some kid, some guy was like, yeah, when I was a kid, like the teacher didn't let me go to the washroom. So I pissed on the floor <laughs> in class. And I was just like, that oh no it was um it was 420 day fiance that's what it was oh hello oh my god really oh babies hello i hear voices coming from giovanni's room but i wonder if there's something keeping him there okay The only time I think I 
did something like that was I oh god it was I was so sad uh I, I think it was like in middle school I did what I always did which is not pee all day and I so, saw like I and I walked home I didn't like so it took me took me about like 20 minutes to get home or no it was about like 15 either way not not super long but long enough and but my snow pants took forever to come off and then I peed it was embarrassing. I cried. <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> I think everyone peed the bed back in the day. I, I don't remember it happening too much, but... Okay. Whatever, my dude. Oh, you're saving up for a nya or an arara. Nice. Uh, that same situation happened to me. Fucking teacher said I, c I couldn't run. Uh, oh no. See, I've never pooped my pants. Thank God. I had a close call though once. I, I, I had like. <laughs> seriously packed food poisoning. <laughs> oh, this is a great follow up to my Ada. <laughs> I did not though. I, I made it. Thank God. It was just unfortunately the whole house was sick and there was only one washroom. So I clenched. <laughs> okay. Real quiet for an ara ara. Aww. Thank you, Wayfair. Get out of here. Ara ara. There you go. <laughs> I won't forget this. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Uh, I did shirt myself. I never full pooped. That's good. Oh my god. I also have never done that. Thank Christ. Just, just full clench. Hard thing. I still couldn't leave, so I shot myself. I sat in the chair. No. <laughs> that i'm so sorry if i have to show this to shad i'm gonna fucking lose my mind <laughs> it's not good because i should during a present wait was, were you presenting or were you just there i don't know what would be worse No effect. Oh, fuck. Time to simple. <laughs> I... I am very thankful. <laughs> Time to simp. So good. I love it. Um, yeah, I've never, never... farted in front of strangers loud enough that they noticed... Thank God. <laughs> I feel like Rogue can attest that, like, for the most part, it doesn't happen. Although, <laughs> why are we even talking about this? This is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, but I definitely got, uh, I pulled that band-aid off really quick when we first started dating. <laughs> like, like, literally day two. <laughs> My birds are pretty stealthy. Yeah, that's basically how I how I exist. It, I I will get to the point where I can pop them in the intestine before they even come out. Just full squeeze, so I don't have to deal with it because I don't like it. I stopped caring so much, but I tried to be considerate. I, yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, I also try not to crop dust. God, so many people do that to me on the bus, and I fucking hate it. I'm just like. Ugh. <laughs> I think it's the worst time that someone farted in my face on the bus. I, no joke, <laughs> I felt the wind. I wanted to punch that person's ass so hard. 
It was so gross. I was like, I almost vomited. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> oh god, I keep doing this. If someone uh, gasses me, I'm gonna call them out like, damn, bro. <laughs> Save me <time. laughs> Oh my god, that would fucking kill me. <laughs> so I think the f funniest thing for- <laughs> uh, I hate it. <laughs> I, I feel like I should put this behind a paywall about like but it's like not even that big of a story about <laughs> the time that happened with um with Rogue and I because like what happened I oh, thank you for the hydrate <laughs> when I asked to do fart I guess perfect um so I have a since I I usually hold everything in um I guess once I'm asleep it comes out, but like, with all of the pressure. <laughs> you guys are gonna know the weirdest thing about me. So if I'm asleep, it'll be like, like that, <laughs> like a clap, a singular clap, <laughs> but it's loud. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized going to school and dealing <laughs> with dumb ass rules from adults made me uh, the seriously that yeah no I don't blame you that is so the first time I, I <laughs> slept over um at rogues I, I did that but it was so loud it woke me up <laughs> it woke both of us up <laughs> I was so goddamn embarrassed I like I pretended to still be asleep and then I curled into a ball and I could just feel myself just radiating heat of embarrassment. I was so embarrassed. It's like the super quality. Yes. And, and then and then he hugged me and then I knew, oh yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it woke me up. It was so loud. But like, I think that's what I get for holding it in. It's cause, it's so it just like the pressure just builds and <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Whatever, whatever. Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. Wow, we've done nothing. I've gotten a letter. What? Okay. What does letter do again? <laughs> Motherfucker said this high midnight bomb goes on. <laughs> Never in my life have I woke myself up with a brap. Oh my god. Who knows? There's there's always a chance. But I feel like everyone's done it once. Because I know my, my parents' dog has done it. <laughs> um Oh my god, who the fuck do I- Oh, wait, wait, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Because, like, I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go to Old Kakariko, right? Am I just supposed to straight up go to Old Kakariko? No? That is- that is the question. I should have been reading, y'all. <laughs> like- Bro, you care this much. I remember a substitute teacher told us we can't leave the class until everyone finished the test. That's horseshit. Like, not even to go to the washroom? That's... I don't know. That I I call shenanigans on that, you know? Uh... Legend, I don't think I ever cussed out someone so hard in my life. I was starving and had $20 and finished the test before everyone else. Damn! Yeah, that's the thing. You know, you know what's incentive to get students to do well on their test tell them they can leave early I had a math teacher who was awesome and um, anytime like all of her classes the rule was uh, 
you're here until you're done your your schoolwork. Uh, and then once you're done your schoolwork, like, you can just leave class. <laughs> but you have to be done. And she has to check it over. But, like, it, the stuff was so easy. It's just, like, whatever. Let's see. I got in trouble, but I told the vice principal I didn't uh, give a shit. He gladly get suspended for calling her out. That's hilarious. Seriously. The only fair bathroom rule I've ever heard is one student at a time. Y yeah, I can see that. But like, y just being like, no, no, keep, no, go bathroom. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel very lucky in the sense that not lucky because I had a disease. <laughs> but, uh, again, as I said, my disease. Uh, the medication and everything made me have to pee a lot. So I had this just go to the bathroom whenever you want kind of card. So I just went to the bathroom when I had to go to the washroom. And the teacher like couldn't do anything because I had a medical excuse. <laughs> Let's just find old Kakariko. I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> Let me just pull up the map again. Wait, where's mini map map? Um, my mom was frustrated with me, but I didn't get in trouble. I don't, yeah, I don't... Like, I wouldn't be mad just because you finished. Like, who cares? Like, what would be the... What would be the point if you if you just kept go Like, in class? Like, what literally would be the point if you just... I don't know. Like... Like, would they let you do your schoolwork? I kind of fucking doubt it. I'll just go in the north. <laughs> I just realized how many people were probably around when I was talking about. <laughs> my fart stories. <laughs> uh, I guess some of them make you stay a while longer so kids don't write whatever. But you're supposed to hand in your test when you're done, like, and then you're just supposed to sit there. Like, I don't know. It's just so stupid. I Like, I never understood that. There's just some rules that just don't make any sense. And I say, call them out <laughs> for not making any sense. Like, some rules just don't. And if they can't explain why, like, then there really is no point. I don't know, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh... You're saying that like I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's just teleport. Um, fuck, I did it again. No! Nothing but a pack of rebels over here. <laughs> yeah, perfect. What the fuck was up with uh, the no hats inside rule? That's like an old thing. Because like hats were seen as like an outdoor like thing, not like an accessory you actually like wear for, for looks. I mean, it, it's like a also semi-religious, I think. But like, yeah, like hat, a hat inside is disrespect. Because, I guess, I don't know. Like, I don't, I didn't get it. Um, my, <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually my work, we've had a few, uh, situations where people were called out for wearing their toques at work. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I think I, I, I kind of get it a little bit more because it's like wait if I teleport here will I fall okay thank you for the warning actually much appreciated uh, let's just I guess come down I, I don't know um fuck the, the no hat rule let's talk about the biggest fucking lie ever which was don't 
Yes! Okay, I agree with that. Like, oh, you, you will... Like, no calculators, because you wouldn't have one IRL. It's like, any job I've ever worked had a calculator. And if it didn't have a calculator, you had your fucking phone. And it was totally fine using that. I don't... People are stupid. <laughs> it's just like some old rule that like no one thought to change ever. And it's just uh, so frustrating. Yeah, exactly. When I used to work at a mattress store, like we had calculators everywhere because we had to do a lot of quick math because we were, you know, working out discounts and all that kind of stuff. And also trying to figure out where a commercial was like. It's just, yeah, I, I, I'm calling BS. Teachers, yes, teachers use them. It's, it, again, like, it's just, it is just bunk. I, I call shenanigans, 100%. Oh, I've been knocked out on this po. But yeah, seriously, like, it's just old rules, like, that were made during a time where, like, you actually probably wouldn't have a calculator. But guess what? Guess what? People have calculators now. It's fucking 2022. <laughs> the no calculators mostly so you can flex it, your brain. I get that, but also, um... Some of us have learning disorders, and uh, it it makes it unnecessarily hard and just punishing when it's like I could just you know work with the formula and understand the formula and do it much faster because you don't want to see me do this for like a million years. Exactly. And, I mean, like, what is testing your knowledge more? Doing math in your head or writing a program? <laughs> it kind of seems a little excessive, but whatever. <laughs> I'm here for it. Damn birds. You bitch. Ooh, man. Pick it up, dude! Jeez. Oh, I've already caught this one. Wow. All that for nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it just flipped my butt. Um, ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. Teachers can be dumb. Yeah, everyone's got the capacity to be a, a goddamn idiot, that's for sure. <laughs> I think the, the biggest thing is just like, you know, they, they gotta explain to you why. Why can't you do this? Because if they can't, then it's just a dumb rule, <laughs> you know? That being said, like, you, the people will definitely give you an explanation of like, oh, dr dress codes. And it's like, okay, but... Cool. Get out of here! I'm trying to fight a fucking ghost. You lizard fucker. But yeah, like, I don't know. As someone who's broken the dress code rules a lot when I was in school, on purpose, um, I just find most of them very stupid. Why do I low-key think I need a, a Goron? 
break through this wall, though. Like, who am I supposed to talk to about this? Why do they look like nightmares? It's like what Metroids grow up to look like. Creepy. Causing law and rusty. You guys in your math. <laughs> I wish I was smart with math. So my whole grade uh, got a field trip ban uh, because a kid threw a nor normal ass snowball at a wall drink. Wait, what? That's stupid! <laughs> Make schools better. Yeah, seriously. Like, I don't... What was the problem? Like, I thought snowball fights are just, like, n no good because, like... Oof. Um, like, you don't want kids to accidentally hit each other with, like, you know, one of those ice snowballs that suck. <laughs> and then having to deal with, like, the possible lawsuit about that. Like, when I was a kid, I used to climb trees a lot. And I get why they didn't want us doing that, because if we fell and broke our arm, the school would be liable, right? One sec. Bodo's my, uh, my middle school. That place was... <laughs> Actually, I think Matt went to the same middle school. Wait, can I? Oops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I think we all went to the same middle school. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Uh, uh, I know I had to talk to Gorons, but I don't know why. I'm going back to, I'm going back to Hyrule Castle because I know there's a Goron that's like punching a wall. <laughs> Descriptive. There's a Goron punching a wall. Um, yeah. Um, and I know to deal with that is the same way to deal with this. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Like, I'm wondering right now is like, is this where like all the side quests uh, like culminate? So like, I I'm like behind on a bunch of stuff. That's possible. It is. This game is not as straightforward as. Uh, I once thought it was, or I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Anything a snuff out my passion harder than school? That, yeah. School? It depended on the school. My, I feel like my high school wasn't so bad. My elementary school was okay. But middle school, I made some really fun friends in middle school, but damn. Uh, the teacher sucked. <laughs> I was like, I hear sparkling. Is there a bug nearby? No, it's just my feet. No. <laughs> that does sound like that school. Oh god. I remember getting in trouble. Like me and one of my friends and I had had a dispute, we'll say. And uh we we dealt with it on our own time. Like, the, the point part is the dispute took place after school, and they still gave us both the tension, even though we resolved the problem. <laughs> no, we, it wasn't fisty, it was like name calling. 
But like we were friends, so we got over it really fast. And we still got detention. And it's just like, why? <laughs> Made no sense. Resolve to gobble these nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a Goron. Oh, and there's um Agatha. Oof, you could hear her giggling. Hello. As of now, I have six bugs at my castle. We all need 18 bugs more until all of them are here. So please do your best to find partners for the ones that are not already paired up. Perfect. Hello, friend. Oh, hey. You're a human, yes? Uh, the other Gorons told me about you, brother. Uh, just take a look at these rocks. Amazing. Was there a landslide or something? <laughs> what are you doing here anyways, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? Uh, oh. Hell yeah. I could do that for you, bro. Just don't look at me for like a second. One sec. I got you, boo. God, she's creepy sometimes. It was Agatha all along. <laughs> That got a lot of air. Nar Nar Chew. <laughs> uh, weirdly enough, the most supportive teacher I had uh, in Catholic school was my religion. You know, weirdly enough, I feel like that's usually the case. They're because they usually are pretty like well-rounded people. Because I've noticed, as of recent, a lot of the teachers have to teach like a lot of other kinds of religions. So they're pretty like chill people. Weirdly enough, so I think I get it. Oh, the hot spring is, I think, is this way. <laughs> um, you know what? I probably should, but I would out myself. But I 100% know a, a, a guy who murdered someone. It's, it, it's a really sad story, though. Like, it's, it's not like a true crime kind of situ- well, I guess technically it's a true crime situation. It, it's true and a crime. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucked up story. That that rocked the whole neighborhood. That was awful. I wonder if that guy's still in jail. Ow. Was he a student? I can't remember. I was pretty young. Well, pretty young. I was like, I think in middle school when that happened. Oh, remember that vice met principal? Yeah, okay. What, 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 what was up with that vice principal? Okay, sorry. Possession of what? Possession of what? Oh no, I'm scared. Like drugs? Or like CP? Wait, is this just- okay, that's just the exit. I'm just being stupid. I found out there was a teacher at my cousin's school that uh, got arrested for being a predator. And I was like, Oh no, he didn't even get arrested. He just got, got like, moved to a different school. Which I'm like, you gotta do better. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, impaired driving and drugs. That's not to say not bad, but... 
<laughs> Not what I was thinking, thank, thank god. Well, shit, I'm gonna have to empty that out anyways. <laughs> I still think the funniest, like, drug school story was that, uh, a few of our teachers, there was one history teacher and one of our English teachers, no, two of our English teachers who would regularly buy weed off of some of the students. <laughs> and I thought that was really funny. I'm just like, in retrospect, I'm like, y'all couldn't find better weed? <laughs> like, the stuff that we had was such garbage. <laughs> Am I just supposed to be a fucking dog? Jesus Christ. Buying weed from a 14 year old as an adult must be fuck- it, it would be demoralizing, at least in my opinion. <laughs> like, I bet you I could do better, but like, dang. Well nowadays, like, it's fine. Like, you just go to the store, but like, I do like that that you can though, because like beforehand I never did any of that stuff. Well, not I did not that I didn't do it. I just never bought a drink. I don't know what this does. Oh, I wasted this. Okay, let's let's go to that Goron then, and then I'll call it um, an evening because I have. Something to do. Wow, that does not last very long, does it? Pardon me. The thing about my Catholic high school is that despite being Catholic school, that's good. I feel like definitely uh, some some of them could be cool for sure. Some of them. If I remember correctly, our rival school was a Catholic school. That was kind of okay. I, I, I have n no, like, good or bad about them because I was not into the sports, so I didn't have that rivalry that everyone else had. Um, so I was just like, that is that's another high school. <laughs> uh, like they still organized, uh, of course. See, I didn't have to do that, thank god. Yeah, didn't do any protests, thank, thank god. The only group school thing I did in high school Let's go to Italy. And that was very nice. I want to do that again. But with no idiots this time. Actually, I shouldn't say that, because, like, what? I mean, we paid for it. It wasn't, like, a free trip to Italy. <laughs> Can you imagine? It wasn't even just, like, our school. It was, like, the, the school board. Um, We had, like, a... Not even school. Actually, no, no. It was like all schools across Canada because we had like schools from all over. It was really, really neat. Like I remember, there was like an Albertan school that w went with us. Uh, it was a good trip, though. I I really enjoyed it, like quite a bit. Bitch. I'll get you later. Come back for you. Wow, we did nothing <laughs> in the stream. We talked about farts and, and poop in your pants. <laughs> Hello. I 
I want to lose my mind. Legit. I had it. Why didn't you take it? I also L targeted you. Why didn't you drink it? I'm so mad. What the fuck? Ah! God fucking damn it. You know what? We'll do this next time. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, this is important for Trey. Did you want me to drink this? Mmm, mmm. Poor. <laughs> such a dick move. <laughs> Our choir trip was uh, was going to be in Washington, D.C. Previous trip was Italy. I didn't go. Ah, oh, no. Although D.C. is pretty cool. I say this as like a Canadian who's been to D.C. once. <laughs> It's kind of nice being in the capital of, like, another country, though. Holy shit. Wait, who else is streaming right now? boop -a doo Oh, you know who's streaming? Uh, Four Hit Combo streaming. You wanna- y'all wanna hang out with some cool bids? Cool bids? Let's do that. This was fun though. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a very like not focused stream at all. Uh, but whatever. Those are usually the more, more fun ones. Uh, let's see. Then I got paid. Oh, did you want me to drink this? Yeah. I'm curious do Americans have to do charity work in school? Yeah, I guess I did like uh, volunteer work. I got, we had to do mandatory volunteer hours. I'm trying not to focus right now. It's all good. <laughs> like, I never considered it before, but it's weird. I think it's a good idea, though, because it gives you- it gets you work experience if you didn't have the time to really work. I think- I I, I personally liked it. But yeah. But, you know what? I think that's it for tonight. You guys have a good evening, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye! Oh, and tomorrow our stream will be a little bit earlier at 8 p.m. We're doing some Mario Kart with friends. But yes, anyways, bye!